This is a video to Skyrim Laz. Maybe with Skyrim Laz? Well, he's the guy that made this big castle here. Also, a fellow Australian. Now, I, man, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Your castles are probably the best. Um, that's, not, that's not me kissing ass. I'm just saying that for a, a guy that likes to make a lot of followers, and I mean a lot of followers, yeah, it's going to be a naked person, that. I love storing my followers inside of your castles. It makes these castles feel like player bases. Now, the reason I'm making this video is for something that I definitely could see change because it's super unimmersive. And again, it is a game, but it all depends on cer certain preferences and the work someone wants to do. And also some improvements in the general mod. If you ever want to improve your mods, <laughs> you've got a few of them. Now, this right here is called the Monolith. But and it's absolutely beautiful home mod, like there's no doubt about it. But where it's situated is the biggest problem. It's sitting on the beach. Oh, there's a naked person. And it's facing inland. So, what that means, good thing I can't see that from here. So what that means, <laughs> I'm so distracted, that this is for, for, for the unimmersive sort of sake of it, you would never build a fortification on the sand. Yeah, sure there's a little island there to put down, but... Again, it's called the monolith. It's... Isn't, isn't, isn't castles meant to be defensive? I mean, it's an invitation for boats just to rock up on the shore. And they've got a free base. I mean, it'd be a little more immersive if it was facing another way. But, you know, because again, it is a castle. So, it facing... On the it, it facing Skyrim doesn't make much sense to me for it being a fortification because a castle is meant to stand there and be a tower of defense. It's not very defensible facing the land. It's meant to be facing the sea. Now, I don't think I really want it up there or anywhere here because again, there's too much shit around here. There's a bandit camp right here. There is an imperial camp right there somewhere. There's just a bunch of shit lying around. What I'd love to see for the monolith it's a complete location change. Somewhere so much more immersive. S somewhere I could really see it being really beautiful. And let me show you where I'd love to see the monolith placed. I would love to see the monolith around here, probably on that archway up there. Because this little waterway, well, it doesn't really, it'd be good for tro tro troop transports, leads all the way in to Windhelm. The capital of the rebellion. It's not very smart because you can launch a shit ton of ships up here and have them just catapult into Windhelm. I mean, it's got no sea defense. It's naked. Of course, this is sky and that would never happen. But in terms of you know what's right in front of you, you'd think this would be too easy. And I would love to see the monolith put up there. You know, and any ship that would get close, it's got the height, it's got the defense. It'd be able to pummel anything that was an enemy boat that come inside this shoreline. Try and put his troops up in here. Or, ships that tried to bombard the capital from the water. Right up here. Let's go have a look. Now what do we got up here? Nothing, actually. Bugger all levels are spawned. So, I mean, overlooking this, or even overlooking over there, it'd be a seriously dangerous place. Well, we've got a, probably a few undead, this, these could be more dangerous, they're just spawning in. But you've got nothing here of any use to the game. And having a fortress right here, overlooking the sea, that would be the perfect place for monolith. You know, having two of those big sort of towers where you could put catapults on them and just fling them at ships would be amazing. Of course, like I said, it's going, it won't happen. But having the monolith here, overseeing Windhelm, would be amazing. That would make it ten times more immersive than it facing inland. Because the way it looks, whenever I see it, it just looks like an invitation to an enemy force to have their own base. Um, you know, it just, it just weirds me out every time I see it. Because it just, I, I don't think I've ever seen a fortress on the beach facing inland. Because like I said, it's an invitation to anyone to take it and you got a free home base. Now some improvements I'd love to see, and this goes for the majority of all your sort of houses and we're gonna have a look at those improvements and see what I'm talking about. Hopefully you agree. We're in the monolith right now. Now this place is beautiful. Um, 
And there's, there's quite a few things I could see that you're definitely improved amongst all of your home mods, lads. Um, firstly, a flag system. An ability to add flags of your choosing around the keep. Like a message board. And we're going to get to that in a, bit, in a little bit in the future. Um, ability to rep whatever faction you want. So I put Stormflake flags up there because my Stormflake character was living in a wall again, like at the start of the game. And... I would love to may have, if it changed hands to Imperials to change it to the Imperial faction, um, or the Greybeards. You want to represent the Dragonborn, or the Thieves Guild, or whatever faction that you you know that can kind of have these flags inside these homes it would be absolutely amazing for roleplay sort of content. The ability to change the flags that would be awesome. This place does have its own flags, as we'll see in here. And it's also pretty cool to have its own flag, sort of, like, a, you know, you can take the banner as your own. Now, there's also one thing I'd like to see change, and I've got to try and find out where the hell I am. It's, I'm not too familiar with this entire area. Here we are. The magical elevator system. Now, this could definitely go with a change, because... I would love to step into this, right? And then you kind of like... It might be a little bit too much. Yeah, like this is just something I think would be absolutely awesome. Just like teleport to the... You teleport up, but you'd also like disintegrate and then reappear in another room. So, I don't know what the animation is. It's um... Like when you ascend. What does ghosts do in the, in the Rift and... Uh, in the Rift and Love quest? But then you like sort of... You, know, you fade out and reappear in a different room. But th for that to happen, you need to be a message box to pop up. And so you walk over here, you activate it, gives you a message box of what room you want to go to. It'd be very much like... Can, I wonder if I can kill you. Alright, not that one. I'm not sure that one either. It'd be like, it'd be like this. So, NPC... Pants. Killable. <laughs> right, so you would walk over that, you'd activate it, it'd be something like this. A message board would pop up, and you'd get an option to, you know, um, corpse. And then you'd have, like, all the rooms here. Which room you'd want to go to. Instead of, instead of the elevator system, to where you have to hit a button. Is it just, man, that looks stupid. It looked, that's probably the only thing you could do at the time, and that, I, can, I can definitely understand that. But that looks stupid. Uh, I'd love to walk into the teleporter, activate it, and then it'll time out. A bit like your teleport spells, how you can teleport, activate this, and then let go of it, and it teleports you somewhere. Oh, shit, like that. <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't work. Now, in the monolith bedroom, this place looks truly gorgeous. But there's also something else we can see definitely change. And I'd like to see this in the form of your desk. But at the moment, he's always got buttons in his houses. And there's actually three in this one, because you can change the kids' room, the followers' room into a bed, and um, into a kids' room. Which is pretty sweet. I'd like that for all of the options, you know, to change either the... Well, some of these houses have more than six bedrooms. They have, like, plenty of bedrooms, but... Again, the whole elevator system of disabling NPCs, disabling undressing and pools. I would like to see an activator, like I said, with the message box is clicking on a book. And you can remove all those by simply using your main desk book right over here. Because I'm pretty sure in every single house you've got Skyrim Lads, you've got a desk with a book open. And it'd be awesome to come over to it, hit it, get that message box saying disable undressing, enable undressing, you know, um, what the other one was, uh, disable NPCs, enable NPCs, and the new feature of the flags. Click on the flags option and it comes up with all the flag options. The Civil War, the Guilds, and the Dragon, well, yeah, the, the Greybeards. That would be amazing and I think this would make your mods ten times better. Of course, changing the location of this place to be somewhere which isn't facing inland and more facing outland. It's meant to be a castle, a fortress, a defense, not an invitation to board for an enemy. But, man, I've got to say, I love your mods. And I'm always excited to see your mods come out. Um, they are truly masterpieces in the works of player homes or player castles. 
You've certainly got a few little play homes. One of my favourites is Stormwatch, is where my main character lives. It looks like an Imperial... looks looks like a Roman... No, an, yeah, an Imperial villa that was made in Skyrim. It looks so beautiful. I kind of wish it had some staff in it, to be honest with you. Like a servant, like a cook, and a few cleaners. Maybe even a couple guards. But, um... Yeah, I, I love your mods, man, and I hope to see this stuff, sort of stuff in the future. Hopefully this video has interested you in changing the location on the monolith and maybe experimenting with message boxes to stop the whole elevator teleport system and to add it to a book with you know more options like flags. Um, yeah, anyway, man, good work. I hope to see more from you from the future, and yeah, keep it up. Good stuff.